An unexpected increase in your website traffic can overwhelm your origin servers. Cloudflare Load Balancing provides application availability and performance benefits by distributing your traffic across your origins. There are five steps to create a load balancer. First, select a host name. Second, add an origin pool. Third, attach a health monitor. Fourth, configure a traffic steering method. And finally, set up custom rules. A public load balancer refers to traffic destined to endpoints over the public internet, whereas a private load balancer is used when routing traffic through our secure on-ramps and secure off-ramps, such as Warp and Magic Wand. In this tutorial, we're going to create a public load balancer. To get started, choose Public Load Balancer and then select one of your websites below. First, enter a host name. This tells Cloudflare to use your load balancer configuration when a request with a matching host name arrives at our network. Add a description. Toggle the orange cloud icon to update the proxy mode. When a cloud icon is orange, traffic is routed and proxied through Cloudflare. And when it's gray, traffic will utilize Cloudflare load balancing in DNS only mode. If you want session based load balancing, toggle the session affinity switch. Click next. Second, create or attach an existing pool to your load balancer. Pools are a collection of endpoints. The endpoints can be host names, IPs, Cloudflare tunnels, or Cloudflare pages. Choose which pool will be the fallback pool. As a last resort, if any of the primary pools are not healthy, Cloudflare will route traffic to the fallback pool. Then click Next. Third, attach a health monitor. After configuring your origin pools, you can choose to create or attach an existing health monitor to the pools you just created. Health monitors will automatically send requests to check if an endpoint is responsive and functioning properly. When you're done, click Next. Fourth, select a traffic steering method. This setting controls how the traffic is routed across each of the pools associated with your load balancer. The default mode is off, which means Cloudflare will route pools in failover order. Choose the method that best fits your needs. Then click Next. Optionally, you can add custom rules. This allows you to fine-tune your configuration based on specific request attributes. Keep in mind that if your load balancer is in DNS-only mode, you will only be able to create rules based on DNS attributes. The last step is the review page. You can review your configuration. Then choose to either save as draft or save and deploy. If you choose save as draft, when you're ready to deploy, simply toggle the status button to on. For more information, visit our developer documentation.